Lunapic is a website where you can manipulate and enhance digital images for free, no login required. When you first go to lunapic.com, you might feel like you've gone back to the earlier days of the internet. The site definitely has an out-of-date look, but it has magical image-enhancing powers, and you will not need to have a login to use them. To make the magic happen, you click on the Upload button and browse to find the image you want to use. I'm going to use Tom and Jeff. Click Open, and they'll be uploaded onto the site. And you can see that the background is way too dark, and the image really needs some work. And so up here at the top, you have all kinds of different choices. Um, most of the time, you're going to look at borders and filters and effects and art, and I'm going to start with art, and I'm going to show you what Picasso looks like because it's one of my favorites. Processes the image, and when it's pro the filter's been applied, you can see that the background is really enhanced, and the guys look pretty good too. You can adjust the amount of the uh, filter that's being applied by using the slider, but I'm going to keep it at 100% because I really like that. And you'll notice that you can also see some of the other art filters right here with a visual uh, representation of what they might look like on your image. And you can go ahead and you can try those out if you think you might like that better. And there they are again, but um, not as fond of this as I am of the other one. So I can go ahead and undo the most recent effect I put on there. But notice I have an entire undo history that I can use. Uh, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and clear it because it's kind of making my image uh, drop down a little bit. And I'm going to put the Picasso uh, art uh, effect back on. And then I want to add a border. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to borders and I'm going to pick an edge fade border. And you can see that I have this now kind of graying it out as it gets to the edge. And maybe I want it to be just a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to change it to 40. And now you can see that it's fading. It's a little easier for you to see how it's fading. And since I really like that, and that's the one I want to use in my slide deck, here's where I can actually save my photo with the changes I've made. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I can name this photo. Uh, or keep the name they provided, but it wasn't very meaningful. And then I'll have that ready to use a later when I am um, ready to put together my slide deck. But before we do that, I want to show you again with something that isn't a picture of people. This time I'm going to go ahead and upload a sunset photo and open it up and it comes in and, and it looks, you know, like a beautiful sunset, but I can enhance it. So I'm going to take this time and look at effects. And this time I'm going to uh, put together um, a photo spread. And what that does is it cuts the big picture apart into smaller pictures and kind of arranges them into a collage like this. And, and that's nice. I might use that sometimes, but this time I'm going to undo that edit. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to come back to my uh, sunset photo here. And I'm going to apply uh, the effect of the Obama style poster. So here's this sample. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a word and uh, click the button to Obamanize. And now you can see it's not really much like my original photo, but you can tell the remnants of it are there, and it's very uh, interesting and pretty. I can add another effect, which is this Lamography collage, and now I've got four uh, different colored versions of that poster. And I can add still another effect where I, um, a filter, where I emboss it. So this time I'll emboss it, and that gives it that flag-like effect almost. So lots of different things you can do, but I'm going to go ahead and undo uh, and go back to this image here, and I am going to go ahead, and this time I want to use a border because I want you to see this cell phone picture border. And look, now it's a picture of taking the picture, how cool is that? 
But I'm also going to add a second border, and that is going to be the blurred border. So now this looks like something that might be in a magazine or certainly on a high-end uh, uh, Instagram account. Uh, really, really like it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, but again, I want you to remember that you can go ahead and play around with these effects and arts and filters and borders because you're always going to be able to undo or re-upload your original image. Uh, there's so much more that you can do in Lunapix, but this is enough to get you started. Um, so again, uh, don't be afraid to click around and try things out. You'll find your favorites too. Um, and before we sign off I want to show you what they look like when I bring them into my slideshow so here's my sunset photo how beautiful is that and here is Tom and Jeff how much better is that than the original image And you can really kind of see how that faded border is working out uh, so um, I hope you will have just as much fun as I've been having editing your digital photos and enhancing them with Lunapic.